This thing is making it a hell of a lot easier today. The sign my girlfriend got me saying that some days the best part of my job is that my chair spins. <laughs> Could not be more true today. <laughs> Let's get elemental. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Elements Canada Co. YouTube channel. Today, got a little bit of a later start. Had to uh, maybe stop over at Canadian Tire and Homie Depot. Today we're going to get back on that metal floor. Um, I finished grinding down a good chunk of the high spots and surface rust. I ground down any of the, uh, the snap screws. Removing the PVC piping that's coming up from the floor. Doing some uh, Bondo patch repair work to be able to coat that floor with a uh, like a rubber asphalt which will just basically seal it uh, It will help with insulation and the soundproofing even though the bus is going to be stationary It'll kind of just help uh, condense everything keep The inside from the out and the outside from the in no rust and no critters. That's that's our goal here Thank you guys so much for continuing to follow along as always uh, It's very appreciated every time someone hits that subscribe button uh, if you share a post on Facebook, uh, repost on Instagram, uh, make a TikTok video. Just know that I greatly appreciate it. Uh, there's a lot of work and time that goes into all this stuff. A crazy amount of time. There's not enough time in a day. <laughs> but if I didn't love it, I wouldn't do it. That's why I'm still doing this after four years. It's amazing. We do custom. It's what we love, it's what we do. Make sure you send us an email to info at elementscanadaco.com. We'll be happy to get you a free quote out. Uh, we take on some pretty wild projects, uh, as you can tell. You're watching this bus transform right before your eyes. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, Elements Canada Co., and online, www.elementscanadaco.com. We do have merch available, uh, as well as some of our other pieces up on our website for sale. And you can find this bus on Instagram at North Star Schooly. Jess, you're amazing. Thank you again for letting us share this uh, this journey to the internet and people all around the world. Very much appreciate that. And here we go. Grinding down some of these holes here, there's a lot of them from when the floor was in previously. I have to go under the bus to uh, take those drains out, uh, as well as the toilet drain. That's going to be a shitty job. I'm going to bondo all this stuff, let that sit for 20 or 25 minutes, so by the time I get to the front of the bus, I can go back and kind of sand things down a little bit, patching the bigger holes, and then if I'm feeling really ambitious, I might even start chiseling away at uh, some of these rivets here. Because there's a lot of them. Okay, so slight change of plan. Uh, just because you kind of got to do that and change things on a whim. I'm going to do all the Bondo work tomorrow to see how these rivets go because if I can get the side panels off, that means that I can potentially even coat the inside of the rubber asphalt. So I brought the, the air hose out just in case. Uh, I got to make a quick cut just along here. And that's going to be my ultimate frontmost edge uh, and then I'll think about taking out 
all of this by the driver's seat. I don't know. I don't know yet. It just had carpet before. We'll make this cut. And hopefully, I don't make the metal. Being a Canadian brand and Canadian company, um, this project is actually being done on a Canadian bus. The Bluebird Company, uh, they are based out of Brantford, Ontario. Canadian elemental conversion on a Canadian bus. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Thank you guys for following along. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, so these are the moments where you kind of feel a little bit stupid, and I'm a little bit annoyed because this hammer is not going the way that I want it to be with these rivets. I tried to use the, uh, the punch and the tip snapped in one of the rivets, so now I'm resorting to this. I managed to pull off some of the rivets, so I think I'm just going to end up taking a cut off wheel and I'm just going to cut it. I don't have time to be kind of futzing around with all this stuff. This is just... We're getting too close to the lift point where I don't necessarily have patience for that. <laughs> Not everything goes smoothly. I'm guilty for this too. You kind of just have to stop, sit back, reassess, and make a plan. So that's what I'm doing. Anywho, I think this should work out. We'll see. <laughs> First panel off, which was a huge pain in the ass. I was smart and found where it layered last. So this is probably gonna come off in one full sheet, which is pretty sweet because then we can utilize it again uh, for little patches or anything of the sort. Down to frame here, folks. <laughs> Shit, not too shabby. side of the bus. That was a lot of work. I'm still not done. You can, see I got, you can see down there there's a few rivets that are left on that final piece. But yeah, that was a lot of work. My goodness. Probably gonna go with the angle grinder and just cut just above the blue line. That'll give me a little bit of a lip. I'll be able to spray from everything on the inside. I'm probably gonna end up coating all this stuff with Rocky guard as well. Again, that'll help insulate and will help with uh, noise dampening. That was a that was a really productive day, and I think I'm gonna get that finished off here. Um, I really need a bigger air tank. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, I'll probably look really. Right now it's a lot of grinding and cutting. Made some serious headway today. I'm really happy. We didn't start the floor, which is okay because it's 
freaking mess in here again. So we'll bondo that, we'll let it sit for the weekend. So we'll hopefully get the, uh, the walls and the floor painted with the, uh, the rubber coating, the waterproofing. Hoping that side of the bus will go a bit quicker too, now that I have a bit of an idea of what I'm doing. Uh, thank you guys so much. Please like, share, subscribe. It means the world. Um, and if you guys are enjoying this, hit that like button. I reply to comments, so you know, reach out. And make sure you hit us up, elementscanadaco.com. Info at elementscanadaco.com to receive a free quote on your own custom piece. And check out this bus on Instagram as well at North Star Schooly. So everyone, have a wonderful evening. Until next time, see you later. Hey, my name is Jake. I'm the owner of Elements Canico, and I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by our YouTube channel where we get a little bit elemental. ElementsCanadaCo.com. We do have some merch available. Uh, we are still taking on custom orders. Feel free to give us a shout and we'll be able to get a quote out to you. If you click over here, you'll be able to see the uh, series that we've put together for our 36 foot school bus conversion into a tiny home. And if you click down below or just over here, you'll be able to subscribe to our channel. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. Please subscribe. Um, and find us on Instagram, Facebook, Elements Canada Co., or online at elementscanadaco.com. All the best, and thank you, thank you, thank you.